Hey everyone, Tony D and Little Joan here with a hot take on China and what it's doing. Um, this is from Breitbart. It's an exclusive. Democratic Congressman Vincente Gonzalez reports thousands in questionable interest income from Bank of China account. Easy, Joan. There's no communist in the room. Just calm down. Uh, he's a Democrat from Texas and apparently he's got like something like 100k or 250k something like that in a Chinese account where he earns interest every year in the range of like I don't know three to five grand something like that so I guess he does business in China I don't know so uh, but that's not really the issue the issue is is this a conflict of interest I would say now that it is you could argue that Prior to Trump and the virus, um, this was not, it still was an issue. I would say it was still an issue. I mean, the Uyghur Muslim thing has been going on for, since before the pandemic, before Trump. Um, but nobody cared. Now, there's been some uh, heat on it. And uh, we are clearly at odds with China. It's only going to get worse. This is not a good look. So, I think he, you know, initially I think he should be given an opportunity to just withdraw all his money. For a number of reasons. Yeah. Yeah, Joe. Yeah. Number one, he, uh, he could end up losing the money. I mean, the communists could just take it. There's nothing stopping him. You know, if the communists took his money, here, why don't you come over here, Joe? If the communists took all his money, It'd be almost nothing he could do. You know, he could sue them, I guess. But, I mean, they don't have to listen to courts. The communists can do whatever the F they want. No, don't lick the table. Now, I, I brought you up here. Don't lick the table. It's not nice. Um, but mainly, it's the conflict of interest. I mean, you know, the the communists could, could hold that over him. And he claims to be a big dog Democrat and wants to be tough on China. That sounds like a smokescreen to me. Like, somebody who says they're tough on China, just, you know, in general. Uh, I don't know how long he's been saying that, but seems to me like a smokescreen. So, uh, I'm not accusing the guy of taking a bribe, but he should definitely get his money out of China. Uh, and one of the reasons is right here. This is from the South China Morning Post. China's military must spend more to meet U.S. war threat. The second-in-command of the armed forces says the country must prepare for the Thucydides trap, uh, which means the people at the South China Morning Post must watch a lot of Tim Pool, because Tim Pool talks about Thucydides trap all the time. And for those of you who don't know, what it is is over the course of history, uh, when there is a, a great power and then another power uh, on the world stage rises, there is inevitably a war between them as the uh, fading power fights its way to try to keep the uh, rising power down. So we could be heading for a war with China. I and mean, I think we're kind of in a in a cold war or at least an economic war with China. It's just that most people in Washington don't seem to care as long as they're making money. And the Chinese know, no, don't lick the table. The Chinese know that very well. Uh, and, uh, you know, they will exploit their strengths as much as possible to get at the United States. They're not going to get into a shooting war with us now. I mean, we have a superior force. We could blow them off the face of the earth, but uh, we'd also be in big trouble too. I mean, they have nukes. So um, the big biggest problem, I think, is just the mere fact that you got Biden in there, a guy who uh, probably took a bribe from China, it looks that way, certainly, uh, versus President Z, who, you know, not a good guy, but he seems competent, as opposed to Biden, who seems to be unable to get through a single speech without effing it up. He, he, by the way, announced that he's going to be doing a 
like a State of the Union kind of speech and press conference very soon. I don't know if he'll be able to get through it. I don't know what drugs they could pump in Biden to get him up and rolling again, but I got to think he is, uh, I mean, they won't even let him answer questions, really. I, they think they could control that that sphere, that they could control every reporter in the room. The problem is they can't control Biden and what he's going to say. But um, And there's too many people in the Biden administration sympathetic to China, I think. There's press secretary being on the top of that list. I mean, the picture of her with the Soviet communist pink hat, it's not a good look. Um, he has at least one other guy who defended China in some meeting. Um, so, uh, let, let, let's be real here. Biden is, he's compromised, I think. So, uh, I think they should, uh, um, you know, hopefully Biden just realizes how bad it looks and he turns up the heat a little bit because we're going to be back and forth with China until something breaks. And either it's going to be some kind of war, some kind of incursion, probably a, a proxy war of some kind first, at the very least, possibly in Africa. That seems like where it's headed because they have AFRICOM and, um, you know, it could break out there. I mean, that's where China is. I don't know if they're in any other places really in terms of their military. Um you know, other than the Pacific. But it's not good. It's not good. Um, you know, it, it's... It's not good. Uh, and this guy, a Democrat from Texas, this is a guy who's ripe to be unseated by a Republican. So the Republicans should be going after him. They should uh, pressure him publicly to remove all his money. Because he's probably not going to want to do it for whatever reason. But the problem with that, of course, is I'm sure there's a whole bunch of Republicans with money in China, too. I mean, that's why people do it. They make money. Um, but they should be uh, getting out of China. No one in the U.S. government should have money in China right now or investments. You should divest yourself of those and keep yourself uh, free because it's, it's just going to get worse. My phone ringing? Yeah. All right. That's it. I got to go. We'll see you in the next video.